Welcome to Photopia Creator. This is just one of many video tutorials that are available to help guide you through this program. You'll find more video tutorials under the Help menu at the top of the screen or by hitting F1 on your keyboard. The Photopia Creator home screen is where you'll start a new project or open existing ones. Projects can include multiple shows. If you want to begin by importing effects, such as slide styles or transitions that you have from ProShow, you can open the Manage Effects window and import them from here. To start a new project, you'll click on the New Slideshow button in the top left corner. You can start building a new show using a wizard theme, a blank show, or a show template. If you have an existing show from ProShow that you'd like to continue working on in Photopia Creator, you can import those here. Once you have several projects started, your home screen will look like this. The left side of the home screen will show a project groups file tree. By default, you will see trash, all shows, and archived project groups but you can create your own new project groups by clicking on the New Project Group icon at the top. The center section of the home screen shows all of your current projects. If a project has more than one show inside of it, you can view them by clicking on the arrow on the left side. Projects can be viewed in either a thumbnail or details view. They can be sorted by several options and filtered by tags and keywords. You can search for a specific project by typing in its name in the search bar. On the right side of the home screen is the News section. Here you'll see blog posts, build updates, and new effect packages from Photopia that you can install. You can archive or hide news items by clicking on the X in the upper right corner. To see all of your archived news items, click Show Archived News. The Photopia home screen gives you several great options, including starting new shows, opening existing shows, and catching up on any new information 